Hey guys, this is Lindsay right before her workout. Um, I'm going to go do a workout here, uh, upper body, and I wanted to make a video for you guys with my workout clothes, my hair not done, no makeup on. See Lindsay in um, her daily routine. <laughs> the joys of, you know, staying at home. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about how you go about this um, process. I know a lot of you are overwhelmed, and so I wanted to share some tips that work for me. So when I got into fitness, I had, I was 12, 13 hours a day I didn't have to give to anything. It was driving, work, all that jazz. And then there was sleep in that mix as well. So what I did was on Saturday or Sunday, um, I would get groceries at some point and I would meal prep and I would meal prep till about Wednesday. So I would um, grill up four or five pieces of chicken and I, I usually shop at Costco so they were very big so I could slice them in half and that would be a red container. And then um, even, even now when I slice them and I match it up, it's about the same and half was, that's a serving, right? A protein serving. And then I would take asparagus, um, or, uh, I'm a big fan of like peppers and onions and, um, mushrooms. I don't do mushrooms all that often anymore, but I like grill asparagus or broil. Um, like I'll bake for a little bit and then I'll broil it so it has a little crisp to it. And then I like to take peppers and onions and make that fajita mix, you know, with coconut oil. And I'll make a big batch. I'll take like two peppers and a one red onion, chop it up, put it in a little bit of coconut oil, cook it up, and then I put it in the fridge. And then I cook up ground turkey and um, uh, the chicken. And then so I have chicken and asparagus. I've got ground turkey. I've got a fajita pepper onion mix. Um, what else do I do? I'm thinking I like to take Shakeology. And I like to take coconut oil and I melt, it's three tablespoons of coconut oil. And you get a little, uh, I think you could do this with parchment paper, but you get like a, a candy um, tray. I have a little candy tray, like those plastic trays. And you'll melt the coconut oil, three tablespoons, you stir it up with a pack of Shakeology, and then you pour it into the little um, candy dish things and put it in the freezer five, ten minutes, and you've got yourself a little bit of chocolate candy for when you are struggling. You eat one or two of those, you're good to go, and you haven't ruined your progress. Um, so those are done. Um, I'll bake up like two or three sweet potatoes, and those will just be, you know, there. Another thing I like to do is slice up sweet potatoes into little chunks, um, or you can... I guess you could do it into um, the circles and then you bake them up. My kids eat them. They love them. Um, so I have to make a lot. But then we have baked sweet potatoes ready to rock and roll. Um, do a little cinnamon and coconut oil and they're really yummy. Especially if they come straight out the oven. So that's always fun. Um, they take about 20 minutes or so. So it doesn't take much. You just chop a couple up. This takes me all, all about an hour. Um, and then I have ground turkey, and then I have avocados. I have um, the little holy guacamoles. Um, one holy guacamole equals a blue. So if you want to eat the whole thing, you eat, that's your whole blue. But if you want some cheese, then you do half of one, and then the other half is for cheese. Um, so I make like little chipotle bowls. I'll take ground turkey. I'll take um, the the mixture of the, the onion and the pepper that's a green, and I'll put that there. I think salsa is purple, so I'll take a little bit of salsa, then a little bit of the, the guacamole, and you can also add a yellow by adding brown rice or adding um, little uh, tostada. Is it tostada or are they... Um, I, I'm a gluten-free eater for the most part, so I have the Rudy's... Um, Tortilla, that's what they're called. <laughs> um, okay, so then what else can you eat? Um, fruit, strawberries, raspberries, watermelon are, are my favorites. Apple with peanut butter is always great. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we add flank steak into our mix every once in a while. Um, we'll grill up 
like a couple flank steaks, I get all the stuff at Costco. And um, we will put them in the fridge and we have steak if you need if you're needing some steak we have chicken if you're needing some chicken we've got ground turkey if you're looking to make up like uh you know a chipotle type of meal um my most recent was taking cauliflower and making it into a pizza i was dying for pizza and i was like no way i'm not ordering pizza and so i grabbed the bag of cauliflower food threw it in the food processor blended it up got it cooked threw it in the oven and I made up a sauce really fast for the pizza and lesson learned that does need time. So if you're going to do that, you know, think about maybe Saturday you would do it on um, when you have more time or a Sunday or a Friday. Um, it was great though. Like I, I, um, it was really yummy. So um, breakfast ideas, I make these egg cups. So you mix up 12 eggs and you add pepper and you add um, spinach or I did spinach kale and um, arugula I think and it, you chop it up and you put it in there um, there's this really cool thing out on Amazon called the veggie chopper and it chops up all your veggies so you can make salads easier um, or put in your eggs so then you pour the eggs in in the muffin tin you bake it for 20-25 minutes I'm trying to think if you add anything else to it I know you add um, a little salt and pepper, but I think that's it. And that is one green, and it's um, two of those is a green and a red. Pretty awesome for breakfast. It's already there. It's prepped. You just heat it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can take toast, and you can take a little bit of that holy guacamole or an avocado and spread it on your toast and put a little egg on top to make a little egg sandwich. Um, it's a yellow, a red, and either part of a blue for the toast for the most part it's half a blue um, if I take if I've learned right about half but again use your containers to measure um, salads I use romaine or uh, you know kale spinach um, what else is out there uh, arugula um, and I will use salad tomato cucumber I make the Dijon dressing um, if I'm low on reds I'll add egg whites Egg whites are great. Egg whites are something great to have when you need a snack, you're dying. So if you take egg whites um, or boiled, hard boiled eggs and pull the yolk out, you can have a good handful, I think eight, include a red, which is pretty awesome. Put some mustard on top. I know that sounds insane, but it actually tastes pretty good and it's a free, uh, it's a freebie to give you some flavor and to give you, um, it satiates you. So like at night, if you're hungry, eat two hard-boiled eggs without the yolk throw a little mustard on there boom you're done savior um shakeology you know how that goes peanut butter or i love salted caramel um you can do the extract so there's like vanilla extract there's chocolate extract there's so many different extracts you can look at and you can take your vanilla shakeology add peanut butter cinnamon mix that up so it's like a um cookie it tastes like a peanut butter cookie and you can make those into little candy bars as well if you want. Um, I already told you how to make candy, but the bars are like peanut butter, um, Shakeology mix, honey, oats if you want, or I don't use oats. I don't use anything like that. I just use the honey, the peanut butter, and the Shakeology mix. I'm trying to think. I know I add something else. Um, that might be all I add because I know the other thing was oats, and I don't do well with oats so I got rid of that um okay so salads what else chicken on your salad steak on your salad um balsamic is a great addition um you can take the romaine and put uh, a little bit of that turkey ground turkey in there add some peppers and onions and um, spice it up with a little chili powder cumin and have like a little uh lettuce wrap just giving you some ideas. Um, there's so many awesome ideas, but um, I take about an hour on Sunday and I just make sure, you know, I've got groceries. Groceries get taken care of some point over the weekend, whether I shop on Saturday or Sunday. I do prefer Costco because I can get a lot more for a lot less price. And um, when you have a family, you have to feed them. And my kids don't eat what I eat at all times. 
my kids want to live on eggs right now. And last week they wanted to live on um, fruit. Oranges was their thing. So every week they're, they're, I made them a great meal last night and they dumped it on the floor. It was awesome. So I guess that's the joy of having kids in a family. And I have a husband who's not too, he's not a big fan of all the stuff I eat either. So we just buy turkey or uh, like Italian sausage or he likes the flank. He'll eat the flank steak. He likes wild rice. He'll eat that. Um, he will eat chicken, but he likes it to be in a chicken sandwich setting, you know. And um, I think my best advice to you for that is your spouse will come around if they're not there yet. Just be patient with them. Um, what else can I tell you? Have a great weekend. I hope you guys stick with your workouts. They're only 30 minutes. I do them with my kids. They climb all over me. Um, I did a Pilates workout with the band and um, my child took the band and ran away. And I was like, okay, I'll finish this without the band and it is what it is. Um, so don't stress. Really enjoy this. Embrace this. This is a lifestyle. And I want you to know that one of the best things you could ever do for yourself is while you are sitting at a desk or going around your house, if you go to audible.com and you look up the book You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero, S-I-N-C-E-R-O, and listen to it, it'll help you and motivate you so much. It's one of the best things ever. Your kids, well, yeah, eh, there's a little bit of language in there, so I don't know if I would play it for your kids, but like your husband will love it. Your spouse will love it. So I just wanted to um, give you guys some tips today and I hope this was helpful. Um, I know a lot of people do oatmeal and for breakfast. Um, what else is there to do? There's, um, I know there's more out there. Stir fry type of meals, veggies with a little bit of chicken. Um, liquid aminos is a great addition to stir fry. That's a zero for you. Um, a zero or a freebie. It's a great tasting piece we got um, when we do our detoxes. We use liquid aminos. Um, cucumber tomato salad with balsamic. Awesome. Add a little feta cheese if you've got uh, room for cheese if cheese is on your menu. So anyways, um, I need to go work out, but I just wanted to share some tips and tricks um, and how I go about doing all this. Um, you know, it's nothing, I don't think anything in life is particularly easy. I think you just have to make it really fun and just put a big focus on it because what you focus on expands and it will happen. Like you will get results, drink a lot of water. Here I am over here. I literally have a gallon with me. This was 99 cents and this is how I know I get my gallon in. It's, it can be that challenging. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I hope this was helpful.